And happy Thursday Eve, my friends, and welcome to a week in my life style vlog. Um, I apologize for the orange lighting. It's not the greatest, but that's all that we have. <laughs> um, so, this evening I thought I would pop on and start the vlog um, by sharing something new that I got in the mail yesterday, which is very exciting. A new product for the shop. I got a hard copy proof, um, mainly for color checking to make sure all the colors went through well. Um, and they did, and I'm thrilled with how it has turned out. The only thing is I think the paper is a little thin for what this product is, so I had them, um, print the final stock of product on a thicker paper and I'm hoping that it will turn out even better. Um, but they are alphabet cards that I have created. Um, I've shared a bit on my Instagram about this project. Um, I didn't really film much of the painting. I was like inspired to do it and painted all 26 paintings in like three days. It was over a weekend and a couple of weeknights and I just blew through them <laughs> and they were just so much fun to paint. It is an alphabet card set based off of the wildlife and um, the flora and fauna of the Pacific Northwest. So um, most every single species that I have included um, are indeed part of the Pacific Northwest forest. Um, except for maybe a couple, just because it was really hard to find a species for each letter, like X and Z and a couple of other, um, just tricky letters were hard to find some species for, so it eh, kind of tweaked it a little bit, but very happy with how it has turned out, and, um, I'll show you in another clip how they look, it's kind of hard to show, but they're really nice size, three and a half by five, um, excuse you, we are dog, currently dog sitting, so we have another loud, uh, big dog joining us here, yes, hello, can you be quiet please? As I was saying, we've got rounded corners, um, all the backs have different different colors that kind of coordinate with the colors of the illustration. Um, I'm just really pleased with how it turned out and it feels like there's some excitement and some buzz on my Instagram community about them so that's exciting. Um, but yeah, really wanted to share that fun product that will be coming to the shop soon. Um, 
My plans for this evening are to edit my video that is going live, I guess, tomorrow for me, but would have been last week's video for you. Um, I was procrastinating because we have been hit with a heat wave here in Portland. Um, it has just been so hot. It has never been this hot, especially in June. And this weekend, it is um, predicted to get up to 111 degrees. That is like unheard of here, especially for the month of June. So I'm gearing myself up and preparing for the hot weather that is still to come. Um, but I'm going to water all the plants as they are getting a little droopy and dry and I'm going to clean the house up a bit because we've also been house sitting um, and get that all ready for my mother-in-law when she returns from her vacation. Um, and then make some dinner and then go to bed and get ready for tomorrow's work day. Pop on again either tomorrow or this weekend. So, I will see you soon, friends. Hello again, and welcome to Friday. It is Friday the 25th at around four. I just got home from work about half hour ago and just sat and relaxed for a little bit. Um, made some iced coffee. And um, I am braving the energy to go outside and water all of my <laughs> flowers as it is so hot um, but they need it especially because it's so hot today um, so that's the plan for now and then Jake is coming home from a rafting trip he went on for a couple of days so I'm gonna start making us some dinner for when he comes home hopefully around six I'm gonna make um, a flatbread type pizza, which sounds super good. Um, I've actually made it before on here, but it's delicious, so I'm making it for dinner tonight. And then um, we will see what happens this evening. Um, nothing major planned, and I don't even know what my plans are gonna be for this weekend. Definitely staying home, trying to stay cool with the massive heat wave coming um but I will keep you updated and take you along with me for whatever I end up doing <laughs> so let us go water some flowers Good morning and welcome to what feels like and probably is the hottest weekend here in Portland. <laughs> it is not even 12 and it is already like 95 degrees. Um, and houses here don't usually have air conditioning so we've got a couple of AC units running and some fans going but it's probably like 80 degrees in the house and hotter in some rooms that don't have the fan or AC unit in it. Um, 
So for this weekend, we are definitely going to be lying low. Um, I'll probably be doing some computer work today. Maybe some painting if I can get a fan in here because I am currently sweating because it is so hot in this room. Um, drinking lots of water. Just refilled my water bottle for the second time today. And I spent the morning putting out about seven to eight little tubs of water outside on the property for um, the birds and some wild animals if they are in need to cool off or um, for some drinking water. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what all I will be doing today. Like I said, probably doing a little bit of computer work just to be not moving so much and lying low in the house in front of a fan, um, but I will be sure to take you along with me for whatever I do. So, um, let's get to doing whatever we're gonna do today. Be sure to be drinking water if you are also experiencing a heat wave or just live where it is extremely hot. Water is very important to people. Okay, let's get going. Welcome to Sunday. Um, today is supposed to be our hottest day yet for the weekend, upwards of 115 degrees. Um, so we're trying to cool off the house early. Um, I'm about to go outside and refresh all of the water tubs I put out for the birds and wildlife because I know the water's already been heated up from yesterday. So I'm going to refresh all of that so they have cool water today. Um, <clears throat> And this morning, I've just been working away on getting my Kickstarter page ready for July 5th, which you would have already seen um, if you saw my last video on Monday, um, that I am launching a Kickstarter campaign for my very first children's book. Um, a friend of mine, Katrina Taylor, has uh, written the words for it, and I illustrated the whole book um, and we are officially launching it out into the world on July 5th via Kickstarter. Um, so I will be sure to update you all um, when that officially goes live and when you're able to pledge towards rewards. Um, but that's what I've been working on this morning, just finalizing that page, 
working on all the photos for reward tiers and uh, making sure it is all set to go for Monday, July 5th. It is so exciting and I hope you um, will take a look and maybe donate to help um, us reach our financial goal of getting this book printed and out into the world while you also get a copy as well as some other fun rewards too. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go refresh all of those water tabs before it gets too hot to even do that. <laughs> um, and then as for the rest of the day, still gonna be laying low, um, trying not to do too much, but we will see what I end up doing. But let's go refresh that water. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright.
friends and happy Monday. Um, I just got back from my day at work um, and it is currently 115 degrees. I have never been anywhere where it's been this hot before. <laughs> Uh, but we are making it, and it should be the last day of this insane heat wave. Heat wave. Uh, tomorrow is supposed to be like 97, which is still hot, but like almost 20 degrees cooler than it is now. Um, and then the rest of the week is supposed to be high 80s, low 90s, which will be so much better and so much more bearable than this weekend. Um, but I've got an exciting week. And uh, my alphabet cards have shipped. I don't know their estimated delivery date yet. I keep checking, but um, hopefully those will arrive this week. I ordered um, some cotton drawstring bags um, that I'm going to package them in, the little alphabet card sets. And I'm gonna stamp each one with some of these really cool nature themed stamps that I have. Um, so hopefully I'll get to do that this week once they arrive. What else? Um, it's going to be 4th of July weekend, so Jake and I are actually going to be going backpacking for a night. Uh, we're going to be leaving Thursday night, uh, and then spending the night in the wilderness and spending the day until after dinner on Friday, and then we're going to be going up to my family's cabin to spend the 4th weekend with my all my siblings and sibling-in-laws <laughs> which I am very excited about so uh, very fun week and weekend ahead oh also Kickstarter my I officially posted to YouTube and shared on Facebook about my Kickstarter campaign that is coming next Monday July 5th um, that'll be a big thing I'll be working on this weekend at the cabin as well getting ready for that big launch day on Monday um, thank you so much for those of you who are excited and who are commenting and are just um, being so encouraging and supportive towards this project. I'm so excited but it's also so nerve-wracking because with Kickstarter it's all or nothing. So if we don't meet our goal at the end of the 30 days, no one pays anything, no rewards go out, and we don't meet our goal. So we're not going to be able to do our project. Um, so. <laughs> it's a little nerve-wracking, but I think we can do it. I'm confident in the book itself. I'm confident in the product. Um, I'm proud of it, and I know we have a solid fan base and friends and family surrounding us, so I'm really hoping that we will be able to make that goal in 30 days, and um, you guys will be a big part of helping sharing if you can't uh, donate money to support or purchase a reward tier. Sharing will mean the absolute world because that means it's getting seen by more people and then hopefully that means more supporters to help us reach the goal. So enough about that. I'll have more um, updates and reminders for when we get to the actual launch day on July 5th, but that was an exciting thing today. And lastly, I totally had forgotten about this, but a package showed up and I had purchased this, um, I don't know why it keeps not focusing um this framed pressed vintage framed pressed flower piece with a real pressed butterfly in it from a instagram thrift account um she's based in canada so i had purchased it a while ago and then shipping from canada obviously takes like 15 to 20 days so i had totally forgotten about it but it arrived today and it is even more beautiful in person i have to fix center it again because it kind of got knocked out of the frame but let me show you it is absolutely stunning I'll do some more um, up close clips of it in the details of the flowers and butterfly but it is stunning and I am so happy I snagged it <laughs> mm -hmm. oh it's just beautiful anyway so that's my update for the week ahead. Um, I'll probably be doing some computer work today. Um, I also want to do some wild ink making this week. I, for my cabin vlog last weekend, I foraged some 
fireweed leaves that I am going to turn into paintable ink, uh, which I'm very excited to experiment with. Um, but I want to do that this week once it cools down a little bit so I can actually use the stove and oven for that project. But I'll definitely film that process um, and take you along. But um, we will see how the rest of the today goes. Really going to be lying low because it is so hot. Um, and, but of course, I'll take you along. Hopefully you don't mind this sporadic day-to-day, week-in-the-life kind of vlog, but, um, I'm not really sure what all has happened. <laughs> but hopefully it's enjoyable and let's keep going, friends. <laughs>
Hi friends, well it is now Wednesday evening and I am working on editing this vlog so that I can have it up for you guys on Friday um, before Jake and I leave tomorrow for backpacking and going to my family's cabin for the rest of the weekend. Um, so I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you liked this week in the lifestyle vlog. I know it was kind of all over the place and very chatty so um, I hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and for making it all the way to the end if you did um, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will be checking in and um, updating you for the Kickstarter launch on Monday July 5th and I hope I will see you there uh, other than that, as always, thank you so much for watching and for being here, and I will see you in the next one, friends.